Good job, dude. Thank you very much. I think you got it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm at Eccentrics Bike Shop here in Guadalajara, Mexico because I'm gonna be building my downhill bike and I'm gonna take you to Fluoride Fiesta, the event organized by Johnny Salido. We're gonna check out massive jumps and it's gonna be a really fun week. Let's go. Okay, the bike is all built up, ready to go. It's the same prop and rage CF as I had last year. Only difference, my DVO jet shock, I've put a 500 pound spring versus a 450. Why? Because when doing jumps this size, it's really important to have a stiffer setup. The bike is gonna be more predictable on the takeoff, also on the landing, especially if I were to overshoot. And I think it's gonna be awesome. Let's go ride. First day on the bike. Behind me where the tents are is the Fluoride Fiesta course, but this is a pretty massive jump and it's actually a warm-up line that Eccentrix has been building. It's like eight or nine jumps. It seems super fun, but it's still pretty big. The last one is probably 45 feet gap and it gets bigger and bigger as we go. So I'm gonna follow Rai, he's a local trader and uh, hopefully I can uh, get some confidence back before eating the big jumps of Fluoride Fiesta. Let's go. Vamos. Vamos. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was great. Yeah, man. Great to have someone in front of me to give me the speed and yeah. I carry more speed than you uh -huh. because you, you break the wind for me. Okay. So on the last jump I had to go Yay! left. <laughs> yeah. That was sick though. That's sick, yeah. <laughs> Super late, no ender. Just wanted to make sure I was gonna clean the landing first. Woo! And tomorrow, we're going to the big jumps up here. That's gonna be insane. Free ride festa, day one. I'm gonna follow teammate Ryan Rodriguez on his prop and rage. Let's go. All right, let's do this. So we're gonna start by the last drop and the last step up. That one out. <laughs> I uh, I saw you lost a bit of speed, but I was like, so then I went on the right. I was next to you. It got pretty windy, Super and windy. I was like, oh, uh, if the wind is coming from the left, I'm protected. If the wind is coming from the right, well, we're in trouble.
Sick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, first row, that was good. That was fun. Yeah, uh, thanks for telling me in. No worries. Day number two at Ferrad Fiesta. Yesterday was really windy, so we got very little amount of riding. And right now I'm gonna check the upper part of the course, trying to get comfortable and take off feature by features. Perfect. First attempt. I mean, look at this. It's huge. No mistakes allowed. Okay, first attempt of the rest of the course. Right. That is scary. I've done everything you should never do, which is putting your rear brake in there. But whenever I'm scared, I do it. I've known for 15 years you should not do it. I still do it. Look at me. You get used to it, man. You're never gonna stop, so. Ah, uh, okay. Gracias. Okay, I got the second out of the way now. I should be a bit more relaxed moving forward. Okay, let's do two, three, four. Okay, I was on 30, but we jump one, two, three, four. Va a bajar Remy. Smoothy, eh? Oh, smooth as could be. Do you break? For the metal? I do like a safety tag on the shark belt. It's like do a back tag. And I feel like that's the best because I don't understand this breaks and pulling them. So I usually pull them and it's like, then I pull them too hard, you know? <laughs> I know. So we are right after lunch. This is the biggest feature on course. It's a metal ramp. Behind me you've got Ryan. He's six feet and this is well over two times as tall as he is. The gap is 50, 55 feet long. We're gonna be extremely high from the ground, consequences are huge and I don't know how I feel about it. I've jumped it last year, the ramp has been changed but also pushed back four feet so it's even a bigger gap. And uh, I'm gonna keep riding, keep building confidence, especially with those compression on takeoff since I'm not really used to that anymore. But so far I've been doing well, I've been very happy with my riding, I felt precise and consistent so let's see how I feel and if I give that a go. Believe it or not, this is supposed to be the easiest jump on course, 
it went well but look at the size of it it's a good 15 meter long no case pad and then it leads into the scariest jump which is a metal ramp I'm pretty stoked I jumped one two three and fourth jump comfortably I've also done the drop that's right there and the step up but look at this this is the tallest takeoff I've ever dropped on a bike it's probably five six meter tall and you have to go at least four meter high to even clear the landing so it's absolutely insane and I'm wondering if I shouldn't uh, maybe attempt a backflip I haven't done a backflip since 2017 so we'll see how I feel Hello Okay, Ryan is gonna flip the step up and I'm gonna study Good job, dude. Thank you very much. I think you got it. I feel like I go faster than you. You're going faster than me. Yeah. I'm going as fast as I can. Did you case it or did you just I make it? I it a little bit. I've never not totally cleared it. Okay. I don't know, I can't go any faster. Yeah, it's gonna take me time to just commitment, like. For sure. I have flipped before. It's like a strong position on the takeoff and a nice pull. Yeah. You stay little on your bike, which is pretty easy for me to do since I'm... <laughs> you know exactly what to do. Yeah. The mental block, dude, I know, it's tough. I just wish the jumbo was smaller. You wish it smaller? Well, it's so big, right? Well, here's the thing. Like, when I watched you jumping the other day, or just earlier, only a few dudes are really going, like, super high. If something happens, look at how, like, look at these dudes. You're, you're only falling you're not falling super far. No, I know. If there's a problem. Which is why, which is why I'm considering it on this jump and not anywhere else. Yeah, this is a great one. Okay. This is all you, bud. Following yesterday, check out what I found. It's a super cute little kitten, but also a massive space. that has got foam pit, but also airbag. It's this huge ramp. And this is a dream setup to get back into doing bike flips. This was not planned. It came last minute. This place is called Carnic Bike Park, just an hour away from Guadalajara. And I look forward to get ready and start riding. Let's go. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little hard to get speed, so give it a solid pump on the run-in. And uh, yeah, the ramp's super steep, like pretty similar to the okay. step up at Fiesta, so. Awesome. Get it. First bike flip in uh, five years. <laughs> Once you know how to do those, don't really forget, but committing to do it on the dirt is a different story. Yeah, I know how to do them. Now it's gonna be fighting the fear. Okay, I may as well try a flat spin now. <laughs> wow, that hurts. I didn't bail at all, I just stayed on the bike the entire time. Yeah. I'm basically a free rider now. <laughs> I feel like I understand the rotation and um, it's pretty straightforward. Then landing it on dirt is a totally different story. Maybe for a future video. We'll see, but uh, for now I'm gonna stick to the back flip. We're gonna check out the airbag. I'm gonna go and uh, try to adjust the rotation, go fast, go slow, so I can really get some experience with the, with the bike in the air and uh, hopefully land it first try tomorrow on the step up. So, let's go. Okay, step by step, time for the airbag. Yeah, I'm 
comfortable doing flips. I just uh, need to grow some uh, confidence. <laughs> but it's never too late, right? So it's been it's been like really good to get back to it with foam pit, then the airbag, and I'm gonna do some more. And uh, yeah, pretty two more. I still have to step up, and uh, I feel good. I feel confident, and go for it. Okay, let's do a couple more flip on the airbag. Okay, morning of the bike flip. Gonna warm up on the jump, make sure everything is still the same. Quite a lot of speed, but I should be good for a flip. Oh, okay, my speed is pretty good. I think I have a good understanding of the leap, and now I just have to trust my uh, my skills and absolutely not panic. Just do a nice pull, and uh, okay, let's do it. Hey, right, come on, focus, focus. I'm stuck. It felt like a slow pop, but yeah, I felt like I knew what I was doing in the air and really trying not to panic. You could have pulled slower. Slower even? You could have, yeah. But then I hit the rear brake and... So you like over a little bit? Pretty much perfect though. I'm super pumped. I just landed my first backflip to dirt since five or six years. Felt really good. I'm gonna do a few more to get really comfortable. You know, it, it's been tough because in 2016, doing a backflip in Mexico, I had a crash and overshot, over rotated and broke my T6 vertebra. I got very lucky. Could have been on a wheelchair and, uh, or end of my career and uh, so ever since obviously it's been on the back of my mind, I really assess the risk and the reward. Realistically doing a backflip here doesn't do anything for me financially. But it is good to you know keep that skill and the confidence and uh, just to be able to uh, keep doing that for longer. So I'm stuck. Let's go again. Okay, backflip number two. I pulled a bit too hard on this one, but... I think now you're just going to backflip into all the slabs and let's just find some. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a few more flips. I felt really consistent. I landed them exactly the same. And it felt exactly the same every time, so pretty stuck on that. But unfortunately, I was told that my friend Johan Barley just had a crash, so... We're gonna check on him and uh, and see what we do afterwards. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, propane train. Behind the Russo's brother, Carson Storch and Ryan Rodriguez. I'm just gonna jump straight. I think Ryan is gonna flip. You okay, buddy? Yeah. Oh, that was a good video, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yo, is this Nikolai? <laughs> wow. Oh my God, what a whiplash, dude. <laughs> Nice. Oh, 
was good. Dude. I think that's gonna be the right first step for me. Not sure how I feel about the big metal jump. Seeing so many riders injured. I'm really not sure. Si, sí, pero al momento nada. Animo! Fred Fiesta is over for me. Unfortunately, it's way too windy. Some people are still doing the drop and the step up behind me, but I don't think it's worth the risk. I'm pretty happy. I've done a very controlled backflip. I felt confident on my bike and I had a lot of fun. That being said, a bit of a bummer. I did not get to do the massive metal ramp behind me. And that's okay, I assessed the risk. It was just not worth it professionally but also personally I felt like that could hurt me more that could actually benefit me so I decided to pass it and obviously I'm competitive with myself but I thought it was a smart decision that way I can go back healthy to Squamish because I have plenty of videos and I'm really excited to share on this channel more tips more stories and more riding video with you so if you enjoyed that video please Leave me a like, a comment, check out the link in the description and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next week.